Salut tout le monde, je vous apporte aujourd'hui Imel, donc Imel vit maintenant en Indonésie, euh, elle est à Bali exactement, donc Imel est une super super une espionne parce qu'elle trouve de vraiment bons 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 deals à Bali et elle va vous dire tout ça tout de suite. Salut Imel Salut Jalo, how are you Voilà, salut good yeah. So Imel euh, ne parle pas encore couramment français, donc on va faire la vidéo. Un petit peu, un petit peu. Un petit peu, <rire> c'est cool. C'est difficile de parler français, mais ça va. <rire> Donc ce qu'on va faire, c'est que on, je vais parler en anglais avec elle et je vais mettre euh, la traduction en bas en français. Donc voilà. So Imel, uh, how are you? How is your life in Bali? Super good. All is good. Uh, we are so happy to live here. So yeah. we really enjoy every second in Bali. Yeah, it's yeah. a cool city. The food, the hotel, and, yeah, and everything. especially the culture, you know, and the culture. Yeah, the culture and also the nature. We go to the beach. Uh, just like 10 minutes from home and it's, uh, I mean, it's super uh, exclusive for us, you know, yeah. bring the kids, go to the beach and they are so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think yeah, it's yeah, nice, yeah, very yeah, nice yeah. life. <laughs> Good food also, so nice people, so it's uh, perfect. Yeah, cool, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Email, uh, I actually, I did this interview, I'm uh, doing this interview with you because mm -hmm. I just would like to know exactly, mm -hmm. you know, how to find good deal in Bali. I know you are the expert in Bali. No, no. So can you explain to actually the one, the people that watch to us, you know, how to find good deal in Bali mm -hmm. and uh, what they should do and what they should not do? Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, I'm not an agent. I'm not an agent at all. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but it's true. At the beginning, I have a friend yes. asking me email. So uh, we are looking for a land or we are looking for a house or a villa, you know, mm -hmm. in Bali. So. Started from there, mm -hmm. you know. I start to have also like Balinese, real Balinese friends, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, real Balinese nice family, and they are uh, crazy rich, and they have mm -hmm. land everywhere. Yes. Uh, but the problem in Bali is, is most of them is heritage land, so yeah. they cannot sell the land. They cannot okay. sell the land at they all. They cannot sell, the sell because they want to protect it as mm -hmm. it's a uh, heritage. Mm -hmm. So what they can do, they can lease the mm -hmm. lease the. So land. actually, no, they they can sell the land, but they don't want because it's in heritage. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. Better yeah. Yes. Yes. So most of them they prefer to do lease like a 25 years, exactly, 50 years. Exactly. Yeah. You still can keep the land in the family. Exactly. You can negotiate with them how many years you, uh, you want. But also for sure there is some people also uh, even it's not Balinese or uh, you know they want to sell the land. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not only Balinese in Bali for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they can sell the land. Yeah, so and uh, so I have a good contact. Mm -hmm. You know I know directly them. Mm -hmm. So. You don't need to pass to the agent, which is just more expensive, yeah. so with the commission, etc. Mm -hmm. so for and uh, this is for basically for the, the bad agent, normal agent, because you, I know there is some very extra good uh, agents of food sure, I can there find. Is many, good agents. many yeah. good agents. Yeah. The most agents in uh, Bali, they, they is, of course, they are still trying to, to sell you something. For sure, for sure, for okay. sure. Okay. So what do you advise us actually? What do you advise the people uh, when they want to buy your land? Is that good for you to go through an agent? How how does it work? Uh, it depends, you know, it depends. You know, uh, if you go to the agent, everything is already like, shoot, shoot, yeah, it's yeah. true, yes. But yeah. if you go to the owner directly, you, you meet in person, you know, and you, 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 you feel like a family thing, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, what I, I did, you know, also. It's, uh, you meet directly and they, they tell you they, they're honest for sure, and also yes. for sure not honest, you have to check everything yeah. in, in square, you yes, know, like, yes, okay. Yes. On the paper, is it a green area or is not a green area? Can yes. we build? Uh, yeah. Can we make the certificate? Mm -hmm. There will be a problem. For sure, all need to be checked. Yeah. So know? I we just mm -hmm. cut you here because actually, what you have to know is that in Bali, you have some area where you actually you cannot build, yeah. and you need to check to the government if it's possible because sometimes they sell you a land by the agent, and after that you realize that this is a green area, so this is a protected area, so actually you cannot do nothing at all you cannot build there so you just have a land and uh, actually you you almost kind of lost your money but this is just this i wanted, I wanted mm -hmm. to present so um, about the agent so what how do you find the, the good deals actually in Bali? okay okay because i have a small nice uh, restaurant okay mm -hmm. So, Very nice. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, uh, the name is Hunting Madam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in Changdu. Yeah, I advise you <laughs> okay. to go there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, started from there, you yes. know, I met the uh, one family, so we can friend. Okay. So from friend, from their friends to Balinese friends. Balinese friends, okay. and they are very nice family, mm -hmm. and they are uh, they have land everywhere. You know, yes. like wow, you know. So start from there, I know their family. Uh, his cousin. Yeah. So start from there. I met them and after that they bring me to, to see the land, you know, like okay, after okay. that I asked them honestly and they will tell me, okay, you now this is a problem, this is not a problem. Okay. They, they, they will tell to, to you in 
real, you mm -hmm. know. Yes. They will not make a lie. So, I think. Uh, yeah. So you yeah, go basically yeah. directly to the owner. Yeah. You don't go to the agent. Go deep, you know. We, and then we go directly to the government, you know. Like yes. uh, you know, I have a friend. We go directly to to check the banjar. We go to yes. see the the government to check the land, you mm -hmm. know. So. And this is how you can find really better deal yeah. than the the reality. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So we go one by one, and usually it's still the family. Uh, area yes. family is not mm -hmm. belong to the agent or belong to another expert or what no mm -hmm. it's directly indonesian land mm -hmm. and so, so in yeah. terms of profitability how much lower if you have to give a percentage you can find you mm -hmm. can find okay. the land yeah okay let's maybe say like 20 percent lower of the can be more the market can be yes, more can be, can be uh, yeah 35 around that yeah. so yeah around that 35 is cheaper, cheaper. and if there is a family like they need money and they want to sell urgent, you can yeah. find it's a good deal. You can find. Ooh, yeah, you know, so this like is exactly what we call motivated, yeah. motivated seller. And, and they, and they, if they and need money, actually, so then they will, they will drop the price. And they don't want to. Some of them they don't want to, to sell or inform to the agent. So yeah. just by family mode, you know. So okay. and to some friends they prefer to sell the land to some friends or family or relatives, you know, compared to the agent. They, they will do that first. Yes. And, okay. And after maybe today. Okay. So, yeah. And what I was saying also, this is that uh, actually the two area where you have to invest is definitely like a Seminyak and Shangu right now. Are you agree with that? Seminyak. It depends what yeah. you want. You know, like in here Seminyak is really like a busy hustle place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody go there. Yes. Shangu now is a place. Uh, you know, you can see still the rice field, still mm -hmm. the beach. No, and many expatriates go there, right? Exactly. And the still, schools? Yeah. How about school, the schools? There school? is uh, international school, uh, French school, many, many kind of yeah. schools. And, like yeah. and I heard also yesterday that really the international schools they are quite expensive between uh, 10, 10 and uh, 20,000 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. USD mm -hmm. uh, dollars per year. Mm -hmm. So the people actually that can put their kids in those areas, they can really afford actually to have a nice, you know, a nice house. To uh, actually to rent, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a business. So you want to like buy the land, you want to build the the property. Do you have, for example, a good agent for that can help actually uh, us to build a, a house? Constructor. Yeah. Constructor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you yes. know people also I that know can do that. I some contact with my kids, French, Indonesian, or we have also like from Argentina and American. So yeah. So it depends your feeling. First, I mean, uh, okay, the budget, what kind of concept, the sign you want, and mm -hmm. at the end also you you. you yeah, you know, you feel good or not with the guy who, because you uh, you trust them, you know, to yes. make your own villa, your own uh, home, like yeah. what you really want. So it's important to trust them and feel good. Yeah. I think even maybe you feel, no, it's a bit expensive, but you feel good and you feel safe, uh, yeah. it's okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's better you have a good uh, uh, construction, very good, you know, mm -hmm. spend a little bit more money, mm -hmm. compared you make a not really good after it. Just five years, there's a leakage you have yeah, to Yeah, exactly. It's important. So, so how many rooms do you advise actually to uh, to invest? Uh, so to make, if you want to invest in Bali, is that a one bedroom, two bedroom? Yeah, uh, I think it's, it's not a problem. You know, what you feel comfortable. If you want to make one nice room, big room, you know, or even small, and you prefer with the gutter or swimming pool, it's uh, depends on the. Mm. It's easy yeah, to rent. Is that easy to yes, rent for yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. Easy. It's easy. If you are well located, yeah. it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Because I heard it's like a two room and above, this is the one that you can really uh, uh, actually uh, rent uh, very tourists, easily. Tourists are coming from everywhere and they yeah. sometimes they just alone, they just want to have one room, so we never know, you know. Okay. So if they are uh, the family, for sure they want to have like a big room, you yeah. know. So it depends their budget, yeah, okay. their budget and what they are looking for in Bali. Thank you very much, Imel. Sama sama, terima kasih juga. Écoutez, euh, écoute, merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé cette, cette vidéo. Euh, N'oubliez pas, si vous voulez avoir pas mal de tips, laissez-moi un message dans les commentaires ou inscrivez-vous sur la chaîne Investi Expat. Je vous donne absolument tout ce qu'il faut savoir euh, pour les investissements, pour l'expatrier. Donc, Imel aussi, elle a un super restaurant à Bali. Donc, si vous voulez passer là-bas, c'est à Changu. Peux-tu rappeler Bolo, le nom euh, Cantine Madame. Cantine Madame. Cantine Madame. Cantine Madame. Cantine Bolong, near to the beach, Batu Bolong Beach. Voilà, donc je vous laisse tous les détails dans les commentaires, enfin dans, les, dans la description de cette vidéo YouTube et je vous dis à très bientôt. Ciao Ciao